Hey guys, I'm here with a review for Saltwater Taffy by Yankee Candle. This was one of their summer scents for 2015. I am finishing up my summer scent, so I figured I would do a review of this one real quick. This is one of the ones I'm finishing up here. I bought this along with Cotton Candy, Beach Holiday, White Chocolate Apple, and Windblown. And I had all those, and this is the very last one of those that I have burned. This is the 22 ounce Tuwick Tumbler, and I'll read the description here for you. A seaside tradition, all your favorite fruit flavors and creamy vanilla all rolled into one. So that's pretty short and sweet. So this review is going to be pretty quick because I can't smell anything. I'm just going to tell you that right off the bat. So first, real quick, I'll tell you about the burn. The burn has been okay. Um, it's burning okay right now. I'll show you here. The flames are okay now. It's got a good wax pool. But I did have to cotton ball it a couple of times, I believe, because the wicks got kind of puny. And that's very rare for my Yankee Candles two wick tumblers. That hardly ever happens. As a matter of fact, it's usually the opposite. Usually the flames get way out of control and you have to blow it out after a few hours and trim those wicks, relight it again. Sometimes it shoots back up again. Sometimes you cannot keep them down with the two wick tumblers and sometimes it gets real bad soot. This one, I hardly ever had to turn the wicks that much with this one. For the longest time, halfway through, I didn't have to trim them at all. Until towards the end, I could have trimmed them a little bit more. Um, and then it got a little puny. The, the flames were just kind of puny out a little bit. So I dabbed a cotton ball in there and they shot back up. And I didn't have to do that this last time I lit it. They were fine. But I didn't trim them either. When I lit it, I didn't trim it because it wasn't super tall. The wick wasn't, so I didn't trim them, and it's been okay this time. But it did have that problem earlier, so the burn has just been okay. And next we'll talk about the scent. The scent is pretty much just like saltwater taffy. It's, that's exactly what I get. It's, it's pretty authentic for the most part to me. Um, even though I did have to pretty much get up on top of the candle to, to smell it to get a review here for you because away from it I can't smell anything. But I will talk about that in the throw when I talk about the throw next. But what I do smell is just a lot of fruit flavors. I get like some lemon, I get lime, I get orange, just fruits like that. And then the creaminess mixed in there, it's not, it says vanilla, but I don't really get a strong vanilla scent, but I get kind of a creaminess in there. But like saltwater taffy kind of has a creaminess, you know, the, the smell and then the flavor. It's like a creamy, fruity kind of flavor. And then actually, I kind of even get a little bit of the, the wax smell with that, like the wax wrapper. Not like a burnt wax smell at all, because some people have like burnt wax smell when they burn candles, and it smells like wax to them. That's not what it smells like. It smells like the actual the fruity kind of waxy paper that when you unwrap the saltwater taffy, it's kind of the fruit mixed with the kind of the wax of the paper, if that makes sense. That's what I kind of get out of this, which is not bad. It actually smells good. It smells just like a, a saltwater taffy that you would unwrap and taste. Um, a little fruity, a little creamy, and then just that kind of the wax in there too, the, the paper, the, the wax wrapper. It's actually a really good authentic scent. I just wish it was stronger. So, that's pretty much it for the, the scent. It's just a really good fruity scent. Um, pretty authentic, like saltwater taffy is. So the throw, though, like I said, it's been terrible with this candle. I had it in the living room at first. I had it on the dining room table, dining room kitchen table. And I had it in my hurricane with, I had bought, even bought saltwater taffy and put it around the candle in the hurricane and I will insert a picture right here of that and I really didn't want to move it out of that hurricane but it wasn't throwing in the kitchen where the hurricane was so I'm like okay I'm gonna to have to move it to the bedroom because I'm not getting much of a throw I got little slight whiffs of it every now and then but for the most part nothing at all 
So I moved it into the bedroom, here where it is now, like I usually do for my reviews. But I thought, okay, I'll probably get a, a stronger throw in the bedroom. But not much, not much at all. It's still not throwing in here. Usually I pick up something in the bedroom with my tumblers and then it's getting close to the end and it's still, I just, I get slight, slight hints of it. And I really have to struggle to smell this one. And I also even, I have six votives of saltwater taffy that I purchased when I bought this candle and then they had a sell on votives and I think I picked up three more. And I have them in my mixology holder over here on the dresser in the same bedroom here because I thought maybe that'll help bring out the scent throw because I did that with my white chocolate apple and that was incredible with that tumbler in here going and the three votives it was so strong but this one nothing I have the three votives going over there and I can't smell anything but the votives are burning terrible too they are burning totally crappy I will show you right here real quick how they are burning So, as you can see, the flames have just been petering out. I can't, I've emptied wax out of it, I put a cotton ball in there. I can't get it to pull out. It's just been a mess. And I actually lit three before this, these three here, and it did the same thing. So I ended up putting the rest of it in the freezer, I popped them out, threw it away, and now these are doing the same thing, so I don't even know what I'm gonna do. I might blow it out, put it in the freezer, and then I might break it apart and then put them in my wax warmers maybe I don't know I hate messing around doing all that stuff I usually I usually just toss my stuff I don't like messing around when I happen to break it all apart and put it in wax warmers and stuff I just that's just too much trouble for me I don't usually do that but I don't know I might try it and see if I can try to get some sort of scent out of this candle and votive somehow I don't know because I like the scent I just it's just so pathetic throw I don't know maybe I got a dud because I've heard some people say I think that it was okay, but it's pretty light, but mine's super, super light. So, um, yeah, I can't recommend this based on my experience with it, but as we all know, every candle is different. So if you buy this candle, you're just taking a, a chance on it. So anyway, that's my review of Yankee Candles Saltwater Taffy. Thanks for watching. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe for more videos. And I will talk to you later. Bye, guys.